Hey, 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 it's your girl Jan Slay, and today we are talking about the ancient Kemetic myth, um, also known uh, now as Egyptian, but you know, back in the day it was Kemetic or Kemetian. I'm not really sure which way it was supposed to be pronounced because you know, this is 2022 apparently, but you know, <laughs> we try our best. So, anyway, um, we're going to be discussing the Asarian myth of Osiris, who we, we know as Osiris and was is um, also known as Asar, and Isis, who is also known as Aset, and um, Horus, who is also known as Heru. But we will be calling them Asar, Aset, and Heru, which I think, what I think is interesting though, is that Set is the same everywhere you go. Like, Set is the common denominator no matter where you go. But um, that's another topic for another day. So anyway, if you want to learn whose thing thing gets eaten by a fish, stay tuned and you're going to hear all the salacious details I need. Liftoff will start in T minus 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back. Okay, so let's get into it. So once again, Asar is Osiris. Aset is Isis. Okay, just so we can have that fresh in our brains. All right, so we were in like ancient Egypt. So like you, you can reference um, this graphic piece by Jan Slay herself here um to get in the mood but anyway um they were out here just spreading positivity and light and love and so asar was basically creating civilization all the way to india the china area like he was all over the world but he was global and he was he was like um bringing bringing civilization so i guess we can think of things like potentially like fire um <clears throat> what else it um how to farm different things like that he's bringing new life to the world and i um i would say isis well isis aset was spreading knowledge and also keeping a watchful eye out for things that were not righteous that were not good so basically like um even like, you know how they say like women are the gatherers and like men are the hunters, but it seemed like back in the day, like our set was on some step out if you want to step out if you want to, and I'm gonna knock you out. Like it is what it is. It's on site. Our set was on some it's on site type energy, but not like, like, bam, like she wants to fight people. Like, let's not get it twisted. But she was on some like, I'm looking because what does that even mean? Like looking for irregular, like Ill irregularities and like unrighteousness. Like, what does that mean? Does that mean she was out here like knocking people out? Or does, does that mean that she was just like, you know, act up? You can get snatched up. Like everybody just didn't act up because they knew she was around. Like just, <laughs> so either way, this is my story. And I'm gonna tell it the way I want to. Okay. I'm not saying that this is, this is f purely factual. This is my interpretation of it. Okay. Okay. Period. And that's the last time I'm going to say that. So our set was like on some, you know, act up, you can get snatched up type stuff. And so she was not like this weak being where she was just at the house cooking. And I'm not saying that that's what makes people weak, but I'm saying that stereotypes of women are that like ain't no place for you but the kitchen and shut your mouth and clean up but no 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 ma'am no ma'am no bacon no ham like no we're not having that okay and neither was all set like step to me if you want to act up you can get snatched up she'll dice you upside the head with one of them wings period okay so then asar is like gone for a while because he's like taking care he's spreading civilization to the whole world and all set is keeping it she's holding it down while he's going wherever he's going so finally he comes back and everyone's like super super excited that asar has finally returned and he i guess like because here's the thing like nepeth and aset or you can think of like nepthus but nepeth 
and Aset are like twins and they look just alike. But I'm thinking that Asar must have been finer than like, I don't even know what. He must have been a fine thing because Neckbeth was looking like, hmm, <laughs> I think it's my time tonight. She pulled up on him like real slippery sly like, and you know, they got it popping. And Asar was like so apparently like bent, twisted and backwards that he thought that he was with his partner he thought he was with our set her twin sister right it'd be your own family man <laughs> so then um there's different versions but in this version uh um they ended up having a baby who's we, you might know him as anubis or anpu but yeah he they end up having a baby right right so then set finds out right hold on i got my notes over here set finds out and this dude is like he is livid but then you you know you gotta say like even though you know maybe he was wrong he was mad at the wrong person asar did sleep with his wife but at the same time like nephath is the one who in this version like put it on him but you know time time has like the story has changed over the years so who knows like what the original 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 was but this is the one that i found so anyway Set is on some like, wow, like you slept with my lady. Okay, <laughs> I got you. I got you. And here's the thing. If you're going to mess with anybody and you're going to get on anyone's bad side, Set is not the one you want to be getting on his bad side because he already represents like a certain type of rage, a certain type of anger, like that, that inner wild beast. Like he represents that. He represents opposites and opposition all the time. So like, anybody to get on their bad side like set is not the one okay he is not the one okay but you know who did it i'm sorry he got on his bad side and if you want to know what happens stay tuned for the next video it's like now nah, i was <laughs> i was actually going to but then i was like now nah, we're like right in the middle of the story that's kind of foul so anyway asar like okay so sec is really really mad but he's 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 like calculated too he's not just gonna like go up and knock um us us oh, man who then like all the different names because they're kind of similar he's not just gonna go up there and knock out a sar like that's just not gonna happen but so he waited right and it was like time was going past or whatever they went to a party and set comes in he's like look guys i made this it, it said it was a coffin, <laughs> but I'm just going to say it was a box because who's just going to lay in a coffin just to do it, you know? So I'm just going to say it was a box. So he pulls this box up and he's like, listen, guys, I made this box. And they're like, oh my gosh, what's in the box? Like, like what is this? And he's like, this, this only fits the best of the best. Okay, because he's not he's not telling them get in here. He's like just saying this is this is an amazing box. And they're all like, wow, that's a really nice box. And he starts saying like only the smartest can fit in the box. Only the fittest can fit in the box. Only the this, like only the best among you can fit in the box. Like really like giving them the ego trip because that's what set does. Like, ugh. So anyway, all the deities, all the netters, um, that's what they're called in this kind of thing, netters. So all the netters were like, you know what, let me get up in that box. You know, like I want to go, I want to, I want to, I want to get in the box. And so they're like all take, like, or whatever. Oh my gosh, I hope that didn't sound weird. But anyway, it's what happened in the story. So let's just hurry up. <laughs> let's put the fast forward button on this part but anyway so he finally like a was like oh let me just go let me just get it so he goes in there and boom it like traps him and the assistants take him off throw his little tail up in the nile and that coffin takes him woo, down to the nile and that's where we'll stop because that wasn't in the middle of the story <laughs> if you want to hear what happens to asar once he floats on down the Nile River where he ends up and how his whoop whoop gets eaten by a fish stay tuned 
My name is Yon Slay and I approve this message. Comment below and let me know what you thought about this part one. And if you have ever um, been into like mythologies and which mythology I should like tap into because I love myths. Okay, I love myths. All right. Oh, and thank you for gracing me with your awesome and amazing presence. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying till the end. Um, you are an amazing being. Um, I create art and all that stuff too, you know, shameless self promo right there. But yeah, anyway, um, live your best life. Have some fun, learn something new and discover your passions.